there's a lot of emphasis on data connectivity mm. and there's a lot of push from outside the lighting industry and lighting design community mm. so uh, there's a huge challenge for lighting designers to remain relevant and continue what they do but uh, before we know I think um, the shift is definitely coming we've been talking about this for many many years yeah. as you know um, we'll have to change the way we do things quite profoundly uh, and we'll become in my opinion more of conductors right, of right. parameters to to create to to let either machines or other systems do what we used to do in the past. Right. My name is uh, Martin Klaassen and uh, welcome to the virtual lighting design community. Uh, we are currently in Sydney at the IES uh, event uh, and I'm interviewing lighting royalty. <laughs> um, with me is uh, Emra. Emra, please introduce yourself. Who is Emra and what does he do in his daily life? Thank you, Martin. Pleasure to be part of uh, this. Uh, Emra Bakulash. I'm a lighting practitioner, a lighting designer at Stinson Mumming. I'm also a lighting educator at the University of uh, uh, Sydney teaching into the uh, lighting program and part of the research activities there. Yep. So um, the theme of this, this event is uh, what's next, what's the future of lighting? What's the next big thing for you? What, yeah. what are you looking out for? <laughs> it's interesting, I mean it's starting with the event I think from what we've heard so far there's a lot of emphasis on data connectivity mm. and there's a lot of push from outside the lighting industry and lighting design community mm. so uh, there's a huge challenge for lighting designers to remain relevant and continue what they do but uh, before we know I think um, the shift is definitely coming we've been talking about this for many many years yeah. as you know um, we'll have to change the way we do things quite profoundly uh, and we'll become in my opinion more of conductors right of right. parameters to to create to, to let either machines or other systems do what we used to do. In the past. Do, you, do you see already change in your own practice or in the way you teach maybe your students? Um, I, as far as practice is concerned, I think like many others, we started talking about these issues. Mm. Uh, we are actually this morning I found myself drawing a flow chart right. about how to work with uh, machine learning right. and where to input parameters and right, what, to, right, right. what to do and where to intervene. Uh, in the design process so I think that will become quite relevant in the teaching it's quite interesting because um, our program like some others are in the realm of other similar programs mm. so we have programs on interactivation yes yeah, electronic arts and so on yeah so there's a lot of cross-pollination there and we see there's so much mm. um, input coming from uh, from other yeah. students yeah, yeah, yeah. things other studies and yeah I think we, we have to adapt ourselves to what's coming and probably embrace so, uh, you were here yesterday um, and you, you, you listened to some of the speakers also today. Any any topic that stood out for you that, that struck a chord with you personally? Um, as I said, it's... Um, let me, give me one second. No, no, <laughs> on this is, we'll just, cut this part and yeah, I know, it doesn't it. matter. <laughs> because it's not, the, there's so much information coming to us from different angles. I mean, one is about health and well-being the other one is about measurements then it's something about uh, you know the yeah. data that, that's coming to us so I think what's what stood out for me is what I also summarized mm. when I had a few minutes to talk on the stage is there is a greater awareness of lighting for sure mm. the industry is expanding mm. awareness is expanding what isn't expanding is the awareness of complexity of this yeah. thing and the importance of understanding the intangibles there was one quote yesterday um, where one of the speakers said you cannot con uh, you cannot control what you cannot measure right I tend to disagree with this. We yeah. tend to control what we cannot measure yeah. all the time. We have yeah. gut feel. We have exactly. Uh, we no, have I, I consciousness. More. Yeah. So I think lighting designers' responsibility in the future, with all the things that are controlled and measured, mm. is to have 
means to control the immeasurable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think that's the contrast between the engineered approach and the creative designer approach, Might probably. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we're here as, as the virtual line design community. You you have contributed to our to our last year's season. Um, what what are your thoughts about how the virtual line design community can contribute uh, to our industry? Yeah, great. Um, yeah. Of course, uh, virtual line design community started at a critical time when we had yes. no communication in the industry That's true, during yeah. the pandemic yeah. and all this. I think it was quite timely. And uh, as we know, the virtual world mm. will be here with us to stay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think um, for sure, um, we LDC will play a major role. Um, what would be really cool in, and interesting is to to be able to create instances like this where yeah. you are here in the flesh, you can actually meet in person, yeah. Yeah. but also stay connected in yeah. the virtual world. Because yeah. uh, you know people are different, and yeah. some of us are yeah. um, you know connecting in one way, others are connecting other right. ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So opening the spectrum, I think, is uh, well. That's is how it. I mean, you're right. We we started in the pandemic, but now that we have live events uh, again, the, the 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 community allows us to keep in touch after these events. So it sort of bridges the time between when we meet in person mm -hmm. and then we can keep in touch virtually yes. in between the events. People can look back at what happened during these events as well. So yeah, yeah absolutely. Now I always ask also the, the people that I interview is what drives them? What gets them out of bed? What's, <laughs> what's your passion? <laughs> um, I guess the, the knowledge that what I get out of bed every morning yeah. and if uh, go to work for is something that is meaningful to me mm. uh, that I know that the people I work with I collaborate with mm. uh, I do things for find meaningful as well yeah, 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 yeah. and um, and it's uh, as I said it's like it's a play yeah. it's a game mm. we just try to play it well and uh, play it to our best abilities yeah, yeah. and just the thought that you know I will try to do my best uh, yeah. on that day given the circumstances yeah. and ups and downs and um, also the fact that it doesn't matter that much no. <laughs> um, no, no. It's, uh, to have a bit of humility and have a bit of ease about very what important. we do that's is a very important, important ingredient yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. and it's one of the I guess just to add one of the things that um, many designers like myself and the mm. whole industry is learning needs mm. to learn that in the scheme of things Mm. We are tiny, <laughs> yeah. and um, we should let others take us seriously, other yeah. than yeah, yeah, yeah. doing it ourselves. So, my last question is: If there's something you could change in our lighting industry, also in consideration with all those things that are coming towards us in the future, is there anything in there that you say, "Oh, if I could do this, that would be so nice"? <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's the gap. It's the gap between between the awareness of right. importance and awareness of complexity yeah. and um, you know, when you have conversations uh, with a wide variety of people yeah. um, to raise the awareness of complexity of the issues and understanding of what good, good lighting takes yeah, yeah. you know there are a lot of um, you know a lot of good will in terms of passion and enthusiasm yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that but the rigor the intellect the, yeah. the the you know um, blood and tears that go into actually coming up with mm. the right right ways of doing things um, and lighting education is the yeah, answer yeah. at the end of the day it's going to be very different to how it was in the past but um, to you to use your own words the unbearable lightness of learning and right. thank, thank you so much thank you <laughs>